Speaker, I'm very pleased to yield five minutes to the author of this legislation, the gentleman from Nebraska, Mr. Fortenberry. Mr. The gentleman from Nebraska, Mr. Fortenberry, is recognized for five minutes. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. And let me uh, thank as well the distinguished chairman of the House uh, Committee on Natural Resources for his leadership on this issue, but for his many, many years of devoted service to this body. We'll miss you. All the best in the future. Thank you so much for your service. Let me also thank the ranking member, Mr. DeFazio, for his support on this important piece of legislation. Uh, Mr. Speaker, this bill directs the Secretary of, In of the Interior to conduct a feasibility study for the Chief Standing Bear National Historic Trail. And why is this important? Because, as has already been mentioned, Chief Standing Bear holds a special place in Native American as well as United States history. Establishing a trail in his name would be an outstanding way to recognize his deep contribution to the well-being of our country. I'd like to provide some additional background on this extraordinary in in individual who, again, prevailed in one of the most important court cases for Native Americans in our country's history. Chief Standing Bear was a Ponca chief, and in the 1800s, the Ponca tribe made its home in the Niobrara River Valley in the area of northeast Nebraska. In 1877, the United States government pressured the Poncas, Poncas from their homeland, compelling them to move to Indian Territory in Oklahoma. And not wanting to subject his people to the, a confrontation with the government, Standing Bear obliged and led them from their homes to their res new reservation in Oklahoma. That journey was particularly harsh, and their new land was inhospitable. Nearly a third of the tribe died along the way from starvation, malaria, and other illnesses, including Standing Bear's own daughter, Prairie Flower, and later his son named Bear Shield. Standing Bear had promised Bear Shield that he would bury him back home, back home in their native land in the Nyer River Valley of northeast Nebraska. And embarking on that trip in the winter of 1878, Standing Bear led a group of Poncas, but when they reached the Omaha Reservation, the United States Army stopped Standing Bear and arrested him for leaving Oklahoma without permission. He was then taken to Fort Omaha and held there to stand trial. And in the meantime, Standing Bear's plight actually attracted national attention. First, in the predecessor to the current Omaha World Herald, the Omaha Daily Herald, which is our local newspaper back home, and through that, the story became well publicized. At the conclusion of his two-day trial, Standing Bear himself was allowed to speak. And in doing so, he, he raised his hand, Mr. Speaker, and he had this to say, that hand is not the color of yours, but if I pierce it, I shall feel pain. If you pierce your hand, you will feel pain. The blood that will flow from mine is the same color as yours. I am a man. God made us both. And with those profound words, Mr. Speaker, on that late spring day in 1879, I believe that Chief Standing Bear expressed the most profound of American sentiments, the belief in the inherent dignity and therefore rights of all persons, no matter their ethnicity, no matter their color. And to the credit of Judge Elmer Dundee, he ruled then that Native Americans were full persons within the meaning of the law for the first time in that trial. Mr. Speaker, I believe that this, the story of the great Ponca chief is a story of strength and grace and dignity in the protection of the most basic of human rights. And I also believe it's a story that needs to be told again and again, understood and cherished by all Americans of coming generations. And Mr. Speaker, I believe that the establishment of the Chief Standing Bear National Historic Trail would honor both his courage and legacy, the legacy of this brave individual, and his contribution to the civil liberties of our nation. So with that, I urge my colleagues to support the bill and again thank the gentlemen for their support as well and yield back.